Now let us look at this problem. What is the throughput achievable in stop and wait? Which means we are talking about the throughput by a maximum packet size of 1000 bytes and the network spans which means they are giving the distance as 10 kilometers as A and B is 5000 kilometers and assume the speed of the light is 70% of the speed of the light in vacuum that is what they are given. First thing is what is the throughput? So if we know that throughput equal to efficiency into bandwidth that is what we definitely know. So throughput is always efficiency into bandwidth then what is efficiency here? So efficiency in throughput is 1, 1 by 1 plus 2a that, that is what we generally use. How did I derive it? So it is nothing but efficiency is tt by transmission time plus 2 into propagation delay right into bandwidth. Now what is tt l by b divided by what is this tt l by b plus 2 into tp tp is nothing but d by b. d by b right into b therefore this b and this b will cancel out so what do we get l upon this is l by b plus 2 into d by b so in order to solve this question what are the factors that you need is one is length of the packet which is already given length is nothing but 1000 bytes and other is distance of the wire distance is nothing but 10 kilometers which is given and other is velocity. Velocity is also given as 70% of speed of the light. So what is speed of the light? 3 into 10 power 8. And what is 70% of this? 70% is nothing but 2.1. You can take it as 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second, which is already given. So everything is given except the bandwidth. So in order to solve this question, we definitely need bandwidth, right? But then in uh, in some uh, the uh, the person who framed this question might have used the other formula. So one other formula or generally what people do is they just eliminate this. They don't use it. I don't understand why they don't use this uh, TT in the denominator. Actual formula is you should definitely use TT in the denominator. But some people they don't use it. And, and maybe the one who framed this question might not have used this factor. Therefore he might not have got it. So solving this question is not possible without bandwidth. But under the assumption that he might not have used this then the formula then the formula reduces to this what is it l upon 2 into d by v so that is the formula but then it is not actually right uh, but you know there is no other way we could solve this question this is not given in gate but then in, even if it is given in gate you can assume that the tt is not taken because some of the textbooks they are giving it wrong and which is directly uh, they are eliminating tt then you will get this so in this case what do you need here d by v so for this one if you find out the d by v you are supposed to get 50 microseconds is the propagation delay using the propagation delay as 60 microseconds if you solve this the throughput will be l l means 1000 bytes which is nothing but 8000 bits divided by 2 into 50 microseconds micro is nothing but 10 power minus 6 you can solve this whatever is the answer that is the answer for this one and for the second one b propagation delay is 500 into because it is 500 times the distance has increased 500 times therefore the second one propagation delay is 500 into 50 microseconds this is the propagation delay and therefore throughput equal to 8000 divided by 2 into this number 2 into 500 into 50 microseconds right so this is the answer for the second one this is the answer for the first one uh, what what you could learn from this one is as the length of the LAN increases which means if the distance is initially 10 kilometers then the efficiency is better as you increase the distance by 500 times the throughput decreases by 500 times that is what is the moral of this question so moral of the story is as the length increases the efficiency and throughput decreases in case of stop and wait therefore stop and wait is useful only for lands but not for vans maybe that is what you should understand right fine